Welcome. In a previous video, I talked about installing Ubuntu server on a QNAP NAS. I'll put a link in the description to my QNAP playlist, and you can find that video there. I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to talk about cloning a virtual machine in the virtualization station on a QNAP NAS. So I have two instances here. I have the Ubuntu desktop, and I have the Ubuntu server, and I want to clone this Ubuntu server. So I'll click on this tab, and I'm over here on Overview on the side. And you'll see this like double document thing. I'll click on that. It says the VM name is Ubuntu server underscore clone. I'm, go I'm good with that. I'll click on the public folder here, and I'll click OK. And you can see here it's cloning it. So this will take a minute or two. I'll speed up the video. OK, that's finished. That really didn't take very long because um, it's a pretty small uh, instance. So next we want to open this up. I'll click Start. It'll ask for my password. I'll do that. And that's the same password for the Ubuntu server. Okay, so I'll log in. So I'm going to be typing some commands here. And I'll put a link in the description of my website where I'll uh, post these commands. So you don't have to read them off my screen and record them. So I'll clear the screen now. First thing I want to do is I want to take a look at the IP address. So I'll type IP space A. And you see here we have 192.168.7.226. Okay, well, remember that 226. The problem is if we opened up Ubuntu server now, it would have that same IP address. So what we need to do is kind of change some IDs on this system so it will be seen as a unique um, virtual machine. So I'll clear the screen here. So the first thing I want to do is to reset the machine ID. So I'll type sudo space truncate space dash s space zero space forward slash etc forward slash machine ID. And it'll ask for my password since I use sudo. So what this did is this blanked out the machine ID. Truncate just makes the file blank. When we restart, the system will recreate this machine ID and it will be unique. So it won't have the same machine ID as the original Ubuntu server. So I'll clear the screen again. Next I'll type cat space forward slash etc forward slash hostname. And you'll see we have Ubuntu server here. I want to reset this to something else. So I want to type sudo space hostname ctl space set dash hostname space and I'll call this Ubuntu server 2. So if we cat etc hostname we'll see Ubuntu server 2 there. So the problem is that when we reboot, it will reset that. So we want to edit a file. We want to type sudo space nano space forward slash etc forward slash cloud forward slash cloud dot cfg. We'll hit enter. We want to scroll down to where it says preserve host name. We want to change this from false to true. So that's this line right here. We want to type control O to save, control X to exit. I'll clear my screen again. Finally, we want to reset SSH. So I want to type sudo space rm space forward slash etc forward slash ssh forward slash ssh underscore host underscore and then asterisk. We'll hit enter. Then we want to type sudo space dpkg space reconfigure space open ssh dash server. Okay, that's finished. So again, I'm going to look at IP space A, and remember we had this 226 here. So now I'll type sudo space reboot, and this will reboot the server, and we'll check out that IP address once it reboots. Okay, we're at the login prompt. I'll log in again. I'll type IP space A. And you see now we have 192.168.2.163. So we have a new IP address here. So what I had here was kind of a blank Ubuntu server instance. Needless to say, if you already have like a bunch of accounts set up on it or something else, you would have to change all those. But I'm mostly talking about um, a blank image. So you might take an image, um, get it up to date and ready to go. So it's kind of like a template and then clone it to make different virtual machines. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. 
And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.